Good afternoon, Armstrong, Enderby and Grandview Churches, just Pastor Kevin doing a test video as I am working on a YouTube channel and our Facebook pages. I'm going to be releasing some devotional videos on Friday, uh, kind of a district update, and this Sabbath I'm going to be releasing a sermon. Um, in the future, we may either direct you to a sermon that one of the elders or myself have found pertinent um, that we would like the district to pay attention to, or one of the other elders in the district might record themselves doing a sermon. So just kind of getting things up and going or uh, finishing these things so that it's all ready for Sabbath. But in the meantime, I thought I would also take this opportunity just to say hi and just to make sure you do not feel alone, even though we are in a time of self-isolation, social distancing. I've had meetings with all three of the churches, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday nights, just trying to get together a game plan. And in that, um, you should be hearing at least from one of the elders or myself once a week, touching base with you and your household, making sure that you feel supported and that you can have some fellowship. We don't want anyone to feel alone. And with that thought, if there's anything that you need, please don't hesitate to call me, um, text me. And that goes for our elders as well. Um, Bruce Prokopetz, Elwood Asselford, Barry Maddox, the head elders of each of the churches, have just told me that they are available. They're, they're willing to take phone calls and to support you and direct you to um, someone that may be able to assist you with whatever need you might have, whether it's, um, you know, running to the store to get your prescription for you um, or just something more practical that comes up or something spiritual. Maybe you're just feeling discouraged and you need someone to talk to and pray with. Don't hesitate to reach out. We are here. Um, but we have a lot of people that we serve. So it's hard for us to make each and every contact, contact at the exact and correct moment. So please just let us know if there's any way that we can assist you. Um, before I close this video, I thought I would just share um, from a book called Passionate Prayer Promises. You know, right now we're going through so much that um, sometimes we struggle to know what to trust, who to trust, whether this is going to be a, a, the pandemic epidemic that we're being led to believe or whether it's more hysteria and uh, chaos. But either way, what we really need to be doing is putting our faith and our trust in God. Um, you know, sometimes we get scared and I've had people ask me, is this the beginning of the end? And we've had different conversations. And as I just want to reassure you, as I reassured them, we're not guaranteed today and we're not guaranteed tomorrow. Our faith has to be in God each and every day. And so with that, I want to read to you this prayer called faith. Dear God in heaven, it's so easy to have faith in you when everything is going my way. I love you, Lord. I really do. So I don't understand why I have so much trouble trusting you when I'm experiencing trials in my life. I want to have the kind of faith that you speak of in Matthew 17, 20. Faith as small as a tiny mustard seed, but that can remove mountains. When you work an obvious miracle in my life, it is easy for me to praise you and have faith that you have intervened on my behalf. But I now realize that it is not really faith. Your description of faith in Hebrews 11.1 1 is so very clear. Faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. Please help me to trust you more, especially during the times in my life that are so dark that I cannot see you working. Help me to reach out and hold your hand, knowing with absolute certainty that you will guide me on the right path and through these storms. Most of all, when my faith is weak, remind me, Lord, of your precious promise in Ephesians 2, verse 8 and 9, that it is by grace that I have been saved through faith, which is the gift of God. O oh, precious Jesus, I want my faith in you to be so strong that I may receive your gift of salvation. Thank you for never giving up on me. 
and thank you most of all for your love, your grace, and your mercy. Amen. Anyways, I pray that all is well with each and every one of you. I look forward to serving you in any way that you need, so please don't hesitate to call. God bless, and uh, until we see each other again.